Welcome to Thursday's edition of Take 5, where we are, we're calling it Christmas in the Letters, and we're looking at the letters of the New Testament. We used to call them the epistles, and we're looking at statements about Christ, about his birth, that's what we looked at uh, the last few days in Galatians, and other aspects of um, who Christ is and how it has to do with, in a sense, with Christmas, but even more so, how it has to do with us. The goal is always a little bit of of application, not just knowledge, but what does this have to, to do with our lives? And so today we're going to be in Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 20, and the Apostle Paul makes this uh, momentous statement about Christ. Uh, let me just read it, and we're going to learn some things about the, the little baby that was born. Um, well, here, let me just read it for, to you. Speaking of Christ, it's talking about his preeminence. He, meaning Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Is that enough? Wow, is this huge. But he goes on. And he, meaning Christ, is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the, in, from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross." A colossal statement about that little baby that we look at on Christmas and that Lord Jesus that we worship all the time. So it's going to take a couple of days to unwrap this, but let's think about what the Apostle Paul is saying as we think of Christmas in the letters. The first thing he says is he says, Christ is the image of the invisible God. Who do you look like, your mom or your dad? Uh, <laughs> You could sort of ask that question about baby Jesus, but the answer is going to be pretty obvious. Who does he look like, Joseph or Mary? Well, he can't look like Joseph, right? Because Joseph had no part in the in the the physical conception of Jesus. It was an immaculate. It was a virgin conception. So physically, Jesus had to look like Mary. Um, duh. It got me thinking. Poor Joseph. He must have thought, okay. What am I supposed to do here? He's not really the dad. He's sort of the stepdad. None of his um, genes are in this baby. Um, the baby was conceived by the Holy Spirit. So it's not going to look like him. And then we even learn, that's for another day, um, that for the entire nine months of the pregnancy, Joseph and Mary didn't have relations so he must have been thinking, what is going on here? <laughs> he's not the dad. He's the, more the stepdad. And he's, he, he is sort of the husband, but no, he's almost the roommate. <laughs> anyway, that's... So Jesus... <laughs> uh, Thursday is kind of fun to laugh, isn't it? Um, so Jesus looks physically, his face, he's got to look like Mary. However, his very being, he's got another resemblance and that's what the Apostle Paul is telling us. Jesus is the image of the invisible God. The image, the idea is like the, the image of, of Abraham Lincoln on your penny. Uh, that's the image of Lincoln. And so when you look at it, you think, ah, oh, there's Lincoln. And yet, it is Lincoln and it's not Lincoln. And so, Jesus, you look, if you want to know what, what God is like, you look at Christ. He is the image of the invisible God. God's invisible. No one has seen him. If you want to see him, if you want to see what he's like, look at Jesus. And so Christmas in the epistles, the Christmas story, here comes the, the shepherds and the wise men, and everyone comes to worship the newborn king, to quote a carol. Why are they worshiping this baby? Because he's the image of the invisible God. Boy, we've got a long way to go to cover this, but start with that idea. Who does Christ look like? Mary physically, but he looks like God. He is God. He is the image of the invisible God. And the baby that we worship 
is the image of the invisible God. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you.